So here we are exposing a single widget. And what we'd like to be able to do instead is expose lots of widgets, right? So what we could do is create maybe an array of widgets. Right? So maybe um, here we could create a, an array of widgets that we want to that we want to make available, right? So we can say maybe a list of a widget. So here, these are the uh, widget list, right? And we're going to initialize it as an array array list of widgets. Initialize that. Um, widget. Oh, new. Sorry, new. And so let me bring that in, import the class, widget array list, very good. And, uh, and what we'll do is, is maybe uh, uh, provide a, um, a get widgets, you know, something like uh, get mapping. And uh, according to the naming convention for RESTful APIs, right, we would use the pluralized, pluralized noun that describe what it is that we are fetching. Right, so this is uh, widgets. We can say public something like a list, a list of widgets, right? And we're doing you know find all widgets, and this might return a list of widgets. And let's create a couple of widgets. So just uh, w1. Let's create a couple more. So this would be w2, uh, and this might be a couple of these, and this might be b and c, and then we can uh, populate our widget list. And add, you know, W1 and add a couple of these, right? So, oops. So W2, W3, and then just return the uh, widget list. Okay, so if we restart, and here if we say widgets, right, notice that indeed it returns an array of the data that we store in that widget. Make sense? All right, excellent.